TD Jakes at Diddy Freak Off Party. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right, that's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, guys, I know you love a good sex scandal. I know it. Ever since P. Diddy came out and paid off Cassie, all these people start coming out. You know, everything's coming out about P. Diddy. If you've been affiliated with P. Diddy, if you are a close friend with P. Diddy, you're getting a splatter too. You know, when the shit hit the fan, everybody getting splattered. All right, Mr. T.D. Jakes, come on down, sir. Come on down. Come get some of this. Come get some of this splatter. No. <laughs> Mr. T.D. Jakes, he is the latest. He is the latest. This is what your ass get. You know what I'm saying? You are a pastor and you want to hang out with celebrities. This is what your ass going to get. You feel what I'm saying? Stay over there. Stay over there. You want to talk about ratchet music? You don't talk about the, the the rap culture, but that you're hanging out with the rap folks. Come on, man, this is your fault. So come on, come get some of this. Oh my gosh! Now, I was always been suspect of TD Jakes. He's been in a in you know he's been in the light for about 20, 25 years. So, but ever since you know I've seen the look on his face, his mannerism, um, his lisp. <laughs> I have a belief system that any man with a lisp is gay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We love you, man. So, that's just me. But this guy here is prancing around with P. Diddy. They have people talking about his freakouts and, and allegedly that T.D. Jakes has been involved with the freakouts, okay? Now, we live in a time of age now. It's hard to hold these secrets. We've got video cameras. We've got pictures. We've got texting. All this stuff. Receipts can come out like this, okay? And there's a lot of people threatening, out, threatening that they're going to put out these receipts. So now again, it may be true, it may not be true, but again, if you hang around these folks, when you're supposed to be on this side of the aisle, but yet you're chilling with the heathens, you're gonna get it. You're gonna be guilty by association, sir. So it's your fault. Now, there was a time TD Jakes had his own TV show and he had this officer come out and dance to Beyonce's single lady. Let's take a look at the video. remember when I was younger and I see a nice beautiful young lady and I'll get aroused right I get a hard on and I'll put my hands in my pocket so I don't want nobody see my my bulge right now if you saw in the video with TD Jakes watching this man dance in front of him 
T.D. Jakes has his hands in his pocket. Oh my God! Laughing and grimacing and licking his lips and enjoying the show. So my goodness. All right. <laughs> We're gonna leave that there, all right? Now, we have other um, phrases of T.D. Jakes like this. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... T.D. Jakes, bruh. Not looking good for you, sir. Now, now here's the one that really bothers me, right? We have the cross-dresser, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry has donated a million dollars to the Potter House, okay? And by doing that, he comes on stage, grabs the mics, does his prayer, and lays hands on T.D. Jakes. Now, I thought you have to be anointed to lay hands on people. So he lay hands on T.D. Jakes, and T.D. Jakes is doing all the, the showmanship. All right, let's take a look at the video. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hands. God, I thank you for your blessing. <laughs> My goodness. What a man would do for a million dollars. Now, we have the cross-dresser and the false prophet. <laughs> holding hands and, and making a mockery of this. But the only people they fooling are the black women. The single black women love these two characters. They love some Tyler Perry. The only way Tyler Perry is rich is he had to act like a black sassy woman. And he target the church members every Sunday you see big black women going to his his his, uh, his plays his TV shows or whatever so he always targeted the church members the black women he made millions almost a billion off black women and now we got TD Jakes the same thing I remember when um, Kevin Samuel was alive and all the pastors are going after after um, Kevin Samuels, T.D. Jakes, Crafty Dollar, no. and so on, so on. Right? They were coming after him, and there was a time that T.D. Jakes was trying to change his message. He was really trying to help some of these black women, trying to find a man, trying to make them look better, trying to make them lose weight, and he was changing his message just a little bit. Right? Two, three months into doing that, he saw his tithing offerings going down he saw his attendance getting smaller and the women stopped showing up to his churches so he got the idea he caught the clue go back to pandering all right that's where your bread and butter at so he went back to dissing that kevin samuels and then his money started going back up right his his pews are filling back up again but dance monkey dance is what yes. the black women say they don't want to hear accountability they want to be felt. They want the feel good message. They want to know that they're going to heaven, and then there's a man out there for them. Okay, that's all they want to hear. Wow. T.D. Jakes caught the message, and he went right back to what he was doing. Okay, but now we're here. All right, this is why we have a problem with the black church. I believe that we should have churches for men only, no women, no children, so we could go out there and tell truth. So we go out there and bring back shame into the church. But now we can't do that. We have to watch what we say. We have to um, be mindful about your about the fair sex and all that. So this is why we have a problem with the black church. The Potter House is about 80% single moms. 10% of them are married, married men. And the other 10% are the homosexuals. My guys don't go to church no more. No men don't go to church no more. You can, women going to church for what? Back in the days, women used to go to church to look for a man. But there's no men there now. Hey! There's no men. It's got the homosexuals and you got the homosexual uh, uh, leader. 
So that's why we have a problem there. That's why women cannot find a good man in church because there's no men in church. We done left. It's been overrun by heathens and, and the, the choir is all... <laughs> Let me stop. Anyway, if you got any value out my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time I'll see you again. And all you pastors, get off my lawn. <laughs>